that's another figure review. Uh, this time we're not going to be looking at a Star Wars figure or a pop, pop vinyl fun, Funko Pop vinyl figure. Uh, this time we're looking at something that's not Star Wars completely, and this is this guy, the T800, aka Cyberdyne Systems Model 101. So I picked this off Star Action Figures. Uh, I gave you a view of it in my video I made after I'd been to Comic Con. And uh, so before we look at him, we'll look at the packaging that he comes in. Uh, I have nothing to say about this packaging, it's amazing. So, from the first Terminator film, it's, like, it's a nice little uh, depiction, uh, similar to the DVD cover of the film, uh, with Arnold on the front. And um, if you notice there, it actually says CSM 101. Cybernet Systems Model 101. And then on the back you've got the other figures available in the wave. So I have Kyle Reese, but I also aim to get the Sarah Connor and that other Terminator. And I might see if I can find the Endoskeleton as well. There's only five figures out of this whole wave. So, and there's two of them out of the Terminator. One, that, that's him in his original clothing before he gets a bullet wound in the eye. And that's him after he gets a bullet wound in the eye and he puts the shades on. You can see there's a bit of a big difference, except really I think the trousers and the figures. No, actually they're a little bit different. So that's my aim. Try and pick up some of them as Terminator is my second favourite franchise after Star Wars. I wasn't really that into it about a year ago, but uh, my brother got a box set containing the first four, including Salvation, which I uh, don't really like that much. And uh, I just sat and, I wa sat and watched them. I liked them so much. I mean, Term yeah, Terminator Three is all right. I mean, I don't hate that film as much as everyone else as everyone else seems to hate it. I think it's like Revenge of the Sith. It's underrated, so I can I can actually sit through it nicely, but I wouldn't force someone to see it if you know what I mean. And Attack of the Clones is kind of the same with that. So we're looking at the Terminator figure. I, again, I said this is this is a really 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 good figure. It's about like it's from like the eighties. I mean, like some of the fit, the hair detail that they've done there, kind of beats the Kyle Reese figure from the same wave, and there's also his weapon. So his weapons include include a. I can't remember what he says calls these because there's a scene in the movie, in the in the first Terminator film, where he's in the gun shop, and there's a twelve. He says twelve gauge auto loader Uzi nine millimeter, as well as several others. But I can't exactly remember what's there. So is the shotgun. It's got, I think that's the, the it might not be the 12 gauge auto loader, but I'm not too sure. And there's of course this machine gun. So you could, this is this is taken from the scene where he drives his car through the doors of the police off police of the police station, gets out the car and starts walking down the corridor shooting police officers, including Ed Traxler, and I believe he's called Hal Volkovich. After just missing Doctor Silber, Silberman or whatever it is when he comes out the store, out of the Police office, police station. Cause he goes over and t says to the policeman, "I'm a friend of Sarah Connor's. I told you he was here. Can I see her, please?" And he goes, "I'll be back before leaving." So yeah, you can, you can remove the guns from his hands, so you can have him just in the police station, prepa preparing to ask. And it's great because they've moulded the sunglasses as well onto the actual figure. And it would've been cool if they'd made it like a removable feature, so you could see the bullet damage or like. If you remember, there's a scene between him getting shot in the eye and the police station where he's in the apartment or hotel room he's staying in and uh, he sorts kind of sorts himself out by like he cuts off the actual eye, the human living tissue eye that's under him so you can see the uh, mechanical eye that's under the endoskeleton. A scene like that, you see one of them underneath him and then he covers it with, with sunglasses. It'd be quite cool if you could take off them and see the T800's regular eye underneath and articulation includes a swivel neck, swivel shoulders and swivel hips just like the mission series figures but then again despite the bad articulation in this figure I really like this because it, it, it actually says on the, on, the, on the packaging age of 17 plus adult collectible not a toy so it's proof that uh, Kenny, I think his or reaction figure figures or whatever it is, actually aimed their action figures at adults for display on the shelves. This is kind of what I do because I've got I've got this Terminator 
and I've got Kyle Reese, which I bought from Comic Con. And I'll put link. I'll put a link in the description where you can get this from. Cause I got I got this. So I got this Terminator from Star Action Figures because I was I was just peeking about on there because there's a bit there's a bit on the top where it says like Star Wars movie figures TV figures and I looked under t movie figures and I found these ones eh, be worth a buy so I bought this guy to add to the collection I was considering doing like a if I could get it work work out how to properly do it is I do a stop motion battle between this and the mission series part of the Saga Legends Darth Vader just for a laugh so that is the T800 I'll be in the next video